day two of the camper van build. Today, we're going to be getting the floor down. We're going to be using some two by one, true to timber. We're going to lay them across in each flat. But before we do that, we're going to go and get the headboard out. It's now time to take the headboard out. Right, we've got one more screw to take out and hopefully it just pops off. Hopefully the thing pops off. You should normally use two of you, but one of us will be alright. And out it comes. Right, now as the headboard's out. We're going to give it a quick sweep, then we'll get on, put the 2 by one down and get the floor laid. Oh, meant to do that. Right, now as you can see, we've laid all the batten across, two by one treated timber. We're gonna bring it up so it lays flush with about the door. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some sticks like such and such. Put it down, hold it down, then come back in a few hours and hopefully it's stuck in. And then what we're gonna do is lay some noggins across in the middle. So that gives it a bit more support. And yeah, right, let's get cracking. All right, we're just gonna cut a few of them down to size. Right, now what we're going to use, we're going to use the silicon, put a few dabs the whole way across the batten, then we're going to flip it over and put something on top of it so it lays down. Don't worry about how much you put on there, more the better I, I guess. Now that's all done, I'm just going to flip it over, like that, make sure it's right to the edge, and then just walk it off of it somehow, just make sure it's all on the whole way across. Make sure that's all on there. Nice and solid. Like then all I'm going to do is put my toolbox on top of it, give it some and push it down. Right. 
that's the first one done. Now we're just going to do the whole way across and get them all done. Right now what I need to do is grab another baton, run it the whole way across here, the whole way up there, so it goes right to the edge. And I need to do something about this little step here. If you've got any ideas, let me Right, now what we're going to do, we've got 5.5mm ply with an old ply, we're going to put that on top and trace over it. Put that on top of a new stuff. And what we're going to do, we're going to use a permanent marker, trace it all round, and then cut it out with a jigsaw. Now let's lift this up. Now as you can see, trace it round. Now we've just got to cut it to size. Now what you could do is put it on a stand or something, but we don't have a stand, so we're just gonna lean it up and cut it out. Try not to fall over. Now that's all cut out, we're going to cut on to the next one. That's enough on cut. Right, now that's all dry. All the buttons are in place, they're all solid. Now we're just going to put the noggins in the middle, just give it a bit more support. Right now we're going to start putting in a few of the noggins, putting them in the middle to give it a bit more support in the middle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to CT1 it and then I'm going to drill it in from the sides so it holds it in place. Oh, on, mate. That's not meant to happen is it? Didn't need that anyway. First one. That's one. Then we're going to be using some 60 mil screws to drill it through as it's two by one, 10 by 50 mil.
Now as we've got all the noggins in place, we're going to give it a quick blowout, we're going to give it a quick sweep, and then we're going to put the Celotex down. <laughs> Right, now we've brought the side decks up, we're going to cut it all to size, lay it all down. I'm not going to film this part because all the dust off of it will get everywhere and all over the camera. Right, now that's all laid, it's all nice and flat. Now what we're going to be using is some aluminium foil tape to stop the coldness coming through. All we're going to do is run it across the joints and this should stop all the damp and coldness coming through. Just run it across all the joints. Like that. Make sure it's all nice and settled. And we'll do the next one. And we'll do so on and so on until it's all done. So we've laid all the aluminium off across all the joints, so now it's all sealed. Now we're going to put the plywood down, screw it all down, and hopefully it all fits. Slide it in. Lines up very well. Then we slide the other one in. Make sure it all lines up. lines up very well. Now all we've got to do is start screwing it all down. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use some 30mm screws and start drilling down into the batten just to hold the plywood in place. What you're going to do is do it all the way across the joint. Right, now as we've got all the batten down, we've got the Celotex down, we've got all the plywood down, now we're going to come back tomorrow, we're going to do some sound deadening, some thermal lining and some rock wool. See you tomorrow in the next video.